Hey guys, Jeff from Smart Deploy here to give you 10 tips for creating your Windows 10 Golden Reference Machine. If you follow these tips, you'll be able to re-image 5, 25, or even 105 different computer models from one master golden image. But enough introduction, pitter-patter, let's get at her. Number one, install your virtualization software on physical hosts only. If you happen to do a lot of your work within a virtual machine and want to set up something like Oracle VirtualBox to keep your new VM separate from your existing infrastructure, that's fine. Just don't install it within another virtual machine. In many cases, it simply won't work, and even if it does, it won't work well and it will be more confusing than it is useful. Number two, know when to create a new VM. You may think that you're saving time using a Windows VM that you built and used for some other project 10 months ago, but it may lead to more issues. Unless you're just installing some updates or making minor changes. If you're making a major version change or update to the OS or other installed applications, consider creating a new VM. Number three, no physical to virtual conversion disks. Just like point number two, you aren't doing yourself the favor you think you are by the shortcut of converting a physical to virtual disk. Your image is going to come with all the drivers from the physical system and that's not something you want in this case. You're just going to pull over a bunch of garbage that's going to be more troubleshooting and more testing. Don't do it. Number four, use Gen 1 VMs in Hyper-V and do not use UEFI in VMware. Adding Secure Boot and the features that come with UEFI in Gen 2 Hyper-V virtual machines aren't something you need enabled for a simple reference VM and can often interfere with the image capture process, so skip them. Number five, fresh Windows 10 is the best Windows 10. Create the VM with the latest version of Windows that you want to run. This is probably no surprise to you, but Microsoft likes to make some pretty drastic changes when it comes to things like the Windows 10 Creators updates. Rather than update your VM to the latest major version of Windows or wait for Windows Update to try and install it on your end user's computers, always create a new VM when you want to deploy a new version of Windows. And number six, no device drivers on your reference machine. Don't get creative by trying to include device drivers on your VM. The whole idea is that your Windows 10 Golden Image will be hardware independent, so you can deploy it to any hardware model, which means no preloading drivers. Drivers should be managed separate from your image anyway, and you can manage those manually, or if you're a Smart Deploy customer, you already know that we manage device drivers for you automatically, which we hear is a favorite feature. And remember, even the VM tools and additions are technically drivers. If you use RDP to configure your VM, you won't even miss them, so skip them. And number seven, consider leaving out antivirus software. Antivirus software does its job really well, even when we're not doing anything malicious. It's a pain, but rather than include it and find out that it breaks the deployment process, skip it and use a deployment task or group policy to install it post-deployment. Number eight, don't open Office 365 apps after you install them. The first time that you run an Office 365 app, it performs some configuration that doesn't survive sysprep generalization and can break Office, requiring reinstallation. You're good to include it on your image, just don't launch any of the apps after you do. And number nine, return to workgroup. I prefer to not join my reference VMs to a domain in the first place, but if you have to, remember to return to a workgroup and restart once before doing your last shutdown and capture of your golden image. And finally, number 10, shut down. When you're ready, give the VM one more reboot, then use the shutdown command to shut down the VM. This command is shown here on the screen with the power of video editing. Anyways, just don't hit power off. And if you're using Smart Deploy, do not run sysprep because we handle this for you automatically at deployment time so that your reference VM can be easily updated or changed if needed. Now, if you're using another imaging solution, you'll need to follow their documentation regarding if or when to run sysprep. And there's your 10 tips for creating your Windows 10 reference machine. Follow this guide and you'll be on the road to fewer headaches and on-time departures from the office. If you still have questions, please share them in the comments below and have a good one.